The UN Secretary General had stark words about the state of the planet as he opened the Climate uh, Action Summit today. Antonio Guterres told world leaders that nature was angry and striking back with fury around the globe. He denounced the fossil fuel industry for fueling climate change. Now, the now very famous teenage Swedish, Swedish activist Greta Thunberg also blasted the leaders for squandering the future. Listen. For more than 30 years, the science has been crystal clear. How dare you continue to look away and come here saying that you're doing enough when the politics and solutions needed are still nowhere in sight. You are failing us, but the young people are starting to understand your betrayal. The eyes of all future generations are upon you. And if you choose to fail us, I say we will never forgive you. Uh, Greta Thunberg and 15 other children have filed a complaint at the United Nations, alleging that five of the world's leading economies have not done enough. The summit comes just days after millions of people protested around the world calling for climate justice. I'll be speaking by the way to one of the original uh, climate protesters, also a teenager, later in the program. Meanwhile, a new UN report says the window to act is shrinking. The past five years are on track to be the hottest consecutive years since records began. Let's bring in Bill Weir, CNN's chief climate correspondent. Uh, let's first talk about Donald Trump and his presence at the UN climate event today. Obviously, having withdrawn from the Paris Agreement um, is something that climate activists have been very critical of. What is he saying today? Well, it was interesting, uh, Holly, he was not even expected to attend today's opening summit, but uh, stopped by a kind of a drive-by appearance to listen to a few words of Prime Minister Modi of India, Chancellor Merkel of Germany. Uh, less than 15 minutes, uh, President Trump was in the room, more focused today on a meeting uh, in relation to religious freedom around the world with Vice President Pence, a, a topic uh, much more in tune with a Christian side, uh, the conservative side of their base. But of course, uh, President Trump has long been a climate skeptic, uh, saying it might be a plot from the Chinese to gain economic advantage. Uh, he said, did before going into the UN today, had a few comments about he's a big believer in clean air and water, but the country should do it themselves, uh, seeming to uh, confuse local pollution with global global climate change that obviously uh, no, knows no borders. He has uh, rolled back just about every environmental protection of the last few generations since taking office. The Environmental Protection Agency is now full of former uh, fossil fuel lobbyists and executives who one by one are dismantling protections for wetlands, endangered species, and of course rolling back uh, standards for methane emissions, standards on light bulbs and fuel efficiency for automobiles and trucks. Uh, so as Prime Minister Modi uh, said today in his message, as the president was, was, uh, was talking there, that uh, action speaks so much louder than words. Uh, but in this case of the United States in, in 2019, there is no action and really no words.